Okay guys, my new lens has arrived. I've just picked it up. Let's do this. So that's what we're working with guys. <laughs> I hope you appreciate. I'm gonna switch in like three seconds. But you're gonna have to excuse the mess behind me, okay? Three, two, one. This is it guys. What do we think? At least you can see everything around me going on. It's bloody heavy though, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. <laughs> movie night Woo! as you guys know i am part of sky cinema club for this year which means i get exclusive access to so many of their movies and shows i'm so excited to be able to share my thoughts and feelings and like my re my personal reviews of my favorite movies with you guys every month this month we are watching june solely because zendaya is in it i'm excited because i think it's like a cult classic let's get the cinema set up I've just had breakfast. Oh, my arm's in the way. And I'm just about to take down my twist. I look wild. <laughs> I'm gonna do an inspired look from the movie yesterday, but I thought we'd have a little catch up about my thoughts and feelings on the movie. And if I'm being honest, storyline just wasn't for me. I wanted to do a Zendaya inspired look, but I think the movie was like over two hours, maybe almost three. It was a long movie. And out of that amount of time, Zendaya was in it for like seven minutes, which was a little bit disappointing for me. I'm not gonna lie. However, what did catch my eye was the styling, the cinematography, the costume design, the composition of the shots, the color grading was really, really beautiful done that was enough to like keep me watching the movie even though i wasn't like that invested in the storyline or the characters i did read and watch a couple videos about the movie afterwards a lot of people included well the director himself said that basically this was part one and part two is coming and that the female characters especially zendaya should have like a lot more airtime in the second movie if i'm being honest i'm probably not going to be the best at like relaying the storyline of june to you guys so i'm going to read out what the basic like summary of the movie is um so it is a mythic and emotionally charged hero's journey june tells the story of paul atreides i think that's how you pronounce it paul is played by timothy chalamet i have to say that his acting was superior so paul is a brilliant and gifted young man born into great destiny beyond his understanding who must travel to the most dangerous planet in the universe to ensure the future of his family and his people the message of june is a story about self-adapting to the new environment with a metaphysical journey into deep human self-consciousness it is also a story about teaching society to love the planet and that nature is true power and even a god to humans who must live in symbiosis with it it kind of gave me like very star warsy vibes which i guess i'm not like a massive fan of star wars so maybe that kind of explains why i didn't love the plot of the movie like i said artistically it was stunning i was super inspired by the like costume and makeup and all of that side of things so i wanted to recreate the look of like the sand people They're called the Fre fremen they had these like really cool earthy outfits and they all had really like bright blue eyes and very like natural kind of 
subdued makeup so i thought i would recreate the look and i'm gonna wear kind of like an inspired outfit it's not gonna look the same but i think it would just be like a cool look to wear day to day like really cool neutral tones first things first we gotta change the eye color those contacts they ain't nothing special just got them from the hair shop the eyes aren't meant to look natural the eyes in this show are like bright blue so that's the look we're going for i'm just stressing about putting these in it's been a long time <laughs> whilst we're doing new makeup looks i thought i'd try the new nars foundation that i recently received i'm so excited about this because nars do my favorite foundations ever so this is the nars light reflecting foundation shake well i love this makeup because it's like desert vibes it's very um understated very natural like slightly strong brow i think zendaya just has great brows anyway but i just love that the the eye is what really kind of adds that pop that accent that standout part to the makeup look and i feel like the makeup look really complements kind of the styling of the outfits where it's very like stripped back okay this foundation nars have just done it again and the color match though i really did not need to use or put as much as i did onto my hand the coverage is really nice as well definitely gonna give myself a bit more of a brow but i'm not gonna do it as clean i'm not gonna like conceal around the edges or anything i just want it to look quite like bushy and natural I can't take myself seriously with this eye colour, but I'm also like, ooh, it's kind of cool. They're so bright though, they're like aqua, but this is what the eyes are like in the movie. I'm gonna go in with the Huda. I can never remember the names of things. Micro shade brow pencil. I love this, and I use the shade soft black, which I never thought I'd use, but it's my favourite. It looks so natural. The pen is so small and precise that you can get really good like brow hair strokes. I'm just gonna fill in the gaps, but not make my brows perfect so they look like natural and bushy i might have to put like a little bit of mascara on like i said it's inspired i'm not trying to look exactly the same this is so gross but i might use this one from the burberry palette which i usually use on my eyes but it is a face palette so i'm just gonna yeah that's what we're going for i'm just gonna like hollow out my cheeks a bit but also kind of have it has that muddy effect obviously i'm like a sand desert gal so i want to look a bit dusty do you know what i mean that's actually a really nice contour why have i not used this properly before oh my god i love this contour wow give myself a bit of a shorter chin i am gonna add a bit of blush as well but it is a very like dusky tone so it kind of fits the vibes it is the cream blush by fenty beauty in the shade rose latte and i love this i wear this most days actually so i'm just gonna put like a little bit so it's not looking too blushy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's doing it for me, it's doing it for me. Do you know what I mean? But I haven't even had to use concealer. Do you know what I am gonna do actually as well? I'm gonna put bags under my eyes. I know that sounds really weird. I think it's hot, but also just sandy in it, you know? Because we don't, we don't wanna look perfect. We wanna look a bit like disheveled and like we've been traveling and suffering for a while. It's hot. Oh, thank you. I know exactly what I'm going to use for my lips. It is the Vive liner, lip liner in the shade Bark. This, this lip liner, this is the one. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now. It's got that, oh, look at that. It's got that perfect, like, that perfect neutral brown tone. Mm, mm, mm. I love these lip liners. They're so creamy and just beautiful. I'm also just obsessed with this look. I can't go. And I might even put a tiny bit of that brown just, like, through my crease just to kind of bring it together because I feel like my creases look a bit too clean. And it also just really complements the blue eyes. I think I'm going to put a tiny bit of mascara on, though. But I'm literally just going to, like, wiggle it at the roots to add a bit of depth and volume. I'm not saying I'm going to wear contacts every day, but this is cute. This is very cute. I'm going to mattify my face just a little bit because it's looking pretty glowy. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier. Is this Laura Mercier? No, this is Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Really nice. It sets, but it doesn't look like cakey, which I love. I'm just going to put it in like the extra shiny areas just to like mattify those down a little bit that's literally it for the makeup let's get the outfit on because i've got it all here now so for the hair it's super simple i've literally just put it back in a bun and left some some tendrils out and then literally just pin the rest back doesn't have to be perfect it's like very windswept i'm excited so for the top i was thinking 
this kind of vibes right it's got that same kind of color tone it looks almost a bit kind of like armor and the shape is pretty cool okay i always feel so terrified my mum and her husband came recently and he was like how often do your windows get cleaned because i live quite high up i'm like oh it's fine i can just like walk around naked whatever but now every time i'm like traumatized by the thought of a window cleaner just suddenly appearing whilst i'm like <laughs> half naked fully naked gonna whack on the cargoes 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 and then she has this like scarf that is sometimes wrapped like this around her head Naturally, I'm gonna have to put my big boots on. Yeah, baby. Okay, guys, this is the final look. Tell me that I don't look like a Fremen girl from the desert. I just need like a weapon of some sort. But just to add the finishing touches, I don't think this outfit could have come up more perfect. And I love it because it's like super wearable. It's like something I would definitely wear on a normal day. I love the tones and the colors. Ow! <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of the look and if you think I did a good job. I need to take the scarf off because every time I put it on, it makes everything go dark. But yeah, do I look like Zendaya? I'm so happy with this. I think we're going to go shoot it somewhere kind of cool. My boyfriend just suggested somewhere that could look insane. Imagine I tidied yesterday and this <laughs> is today. Mm. Just listen. There's so many cute dogs about. There was a guy that had a Frenchie that looked just like Pierre. Hey gang, how is it going? I have not sat down or actually picked up the camera for like 
just over a week now since I traveled down to London, which would have been the last clips that you guys saw. I initially was going down for an event. So I went the night before because the event was at 9 a.m. the next day and it was for the app, the fitness app that I use all the time. They've just rebranded as Evolve You. And I was so excited to go and so excited to meet Chrissy and, you know, have a nice time and like chat to some other girls, you know, people that I have things in common with. But unfortunately, I got another bit of bad news. So I actually ended up just spending like a week in London with my mum. Um, she called me like, I think the day before I went down um, because she just found out that my uncle has passed away also. So yeah, I just needed a bit of time to like process that because obviously I just lost my grandma like a month before not even. So it was just a lot to take in and I just needed to take a minute. I had every intention of filming. I took my camera with me, but when I actually got to London, I was like, I just need a bit of time. Um, and it was really good to see my mum and like stay with her for a bit, spend some time with her. I ended up seeing like all of my friends that I wanted to see as well, I ended up going out and just like, not distracting myself, but just trying to like enjoy my friends' company and stuff. I haven't seen them for a long time, obviously, since I moved up here and even before that. Um, so yeah, I just needed like my comfort and that is my friends and my family. So yeah, it was really nice to just have a little break. And then my boyfriend ended up having rehearsals for something in London. So um, we spent some time together in London as well and then came back together. Um, but I just, yeah, need a little break. I hope you guys can understand. This video was meant to be up ages ago, but obviously Spanner in the works. Um, life is crazy, man. Life is absolutely crazy. At this point, I'm just like, <laughs> what's next? I'm just expecting something else. But anyway, um, that is why I have not been on here. And that is why you didn't see any more of my trip to London because yeah, it just didn't feel appropriate and I, yeah, just needed to take some time and reset and enjoy um, the parts of life that are still enjoyable. So, yeah, it's, I'm so, I was so gutted as well because I had so much fun filming this video. I wanted to film the event, like I had so many ideas in my head of like other things that I wanted to put in this vlog, but life just happens. I just wanted to be open and honest with you guys. I'll probably end the vlog here just because I want to like start a fresh vlog where I've got new stuff going on, I'm doing fun things. It is now Thursday. Um, I've got my friend's birthday on Saturday and we're gonna do some fun stuff. I'm super excited for that. So I'm going back down to London and then I'm coming back to Manchester and then two days later, I'm going back down to London again for another event. I'm gonna be seeing Helena, which I'm so excited about because I haven't seen her for ages. And then like a week later, not even a week later, I'm going away on a brand trip, which I'm so excited about. So there's a lot of fun stuff coming up and a lot of stuff to look forward to. And I'm super excited to share it with you guys. But yeah, I'm gonna end this vlog here. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of the look. Let me know if you watched June and what you thought of it as well. Cause I know some people are gonna love that movie. So I'd just love to hear like your opinions and stuff on it. Thank you guys for sticking around and for just understanding that life really be lifing right now. Like <laughs> really be lifing right now. I love you guys and I will see you guys all in my next video. Until next time, bye. Mwah.